The number of hotspots detected in Sumatra significantly increased on Friday, October 6, Singapore's National Environment Agency NEA said in a media release. The elevated levels of PM2.5 raised the likelihood of the 24-hour pollutant standards index in Singapore entering the unhealthy range, the NEA added. According to the NEA, 212 hotspots were detected on Indonesia's largest island on Friday. Compared with 65 on Thursday and 15 on Wednesday earlier in the week, the smoke plumes and haze we observe from satellite imagery over southern and central Sumatra, the NEA said. Adding that a brief shift in the wind direction on Friday afternoon, from southeasterly to southerly, blew some of the lighter haze towards Singapore and caused a deterioration in air quality. There is a likelihood of haze affecting Singapore over the coming weekend if the fires persist and wind's direction is unfavorable, the NEA said. According to the NEA, the 1-hour PM2. Five levels in the southern and eastern parts of Singapore entered elevated levels i.e. above 55 ug m 3 on Friday afternoon and remain elevated at 10 p.m. Should the situation persist? The 24-hour PSI could enter the unhealthy range PSI greater than 100 over the weekend, the NEA said. Given the situation, the NEA will start providing daily haze advisories from Saturday evening, October 7. The daily haze advisory includes the 24-hour PSI forecast, which can be used by the public in planning their activities and events for the next 24 hours, said the NEA. The NEA added that advisories have already been issued to various sectors, including healthcare institutions, preschools and schools, as well as workplaces. These advisories remind the various sectors to take appropriate haze management measures should the 24-hour PSI enter the unhealthy range, especially to protect more vulnerable groups. Neighboring Malaysia, too, has been experiencing the haze, although Indonesia on Friday denied that forests and peat fires on Sumatra and Borneo Islands were causing the situation.